Well, we are definitely safer as a state and as a nation since we started to pay attention to Homeland Security since 9-11. And we are safer against any threat, so hurricanes, a virus like H1N1, an earthquake, or of course terrorism as we saw in the city and we've seen in the country. But I don't like to think of things in terms of are we safe. Uh, I think that's a... Um, that's probably a bridge too far. We are always going to be learning, trying to get better, uh, trying to absorb the lessons of last time to support our public safety entities. Uh, but there's no way to be perfectly safe in a country as amazingly dynamic and a state as open as ours. And so what we do is we just try to prepare for the risks that may come. Every year is a woman year. Don't you know that yet? No, it's, uh, you know, every, I've, I've been in through enough election cycles to know that every year is considered the year of the woman or not the year of the woman. And I, I am a firm believer that it has everything to do with the candidates and whoever wants to step forward. And if it's more women, all the better. But ultimately, as we've seen across the United States, uh, Elections go in mysterious ways, and voters are drawn to candidates that may surprise us sometime, uh, sometimes and also may be amazing and historic, as we've seen in this president. So I like to see a lot of female candidates out there because I do believe that we'll have more victories up and down the chain, local, state, and federal, if more and more women run. Actually, I've been thinking about that a lot about, uh, as I entered politics, how involved I had been in the Institute of Politics, and then spent 25 years not in the political space. I had been in public service and government work. Uh, and so what brought me back to this moment may have been just a sense of inspiration I felt as a young undergraduate and seeing all these people come through. I was actually an IOP study liaison. I guess that's what we call the student liaison for Geraldine Ferraro. After she lost her uh, campaign, she came here to write her memoirs and, and, uh, and, and meet with students. And that was really inspirational to me, I, mostly because uh, you see, life also does go on, that nothing is certain for anyone in any career. And I saw a very dynamic and powerful woman come back after a loss and, and uh, begin to teach what she wanted to teach and, and absorb the lessons so that the next time, the next person who jumped in would learn from that. So it did have a tremendous influence in both my interest in politics and, and clearly my interest in public service.